Blood Red Snow, The Memoirs of a German Soldier on the Eastern Front, is a harrowing account of World War II as seen through the eyes of Gunter K. Koshorek, a German machine gunner who fought on the Eastern Front against the Soviet Union. These memoirs chronicle his experiences from enlistment to his eventual wounding and recovery, offering an unflinching look at the brutal realities of combat, the camaraderie among soldiers, and the desperation of the German army as the tides of war turned against them. The narrative begins with Koshorek volunteering for service, driven by a sense of duty and a desire for adventure. He is initially filled with patriotic fervor and enthusiasm for the war effort. Soon, he is assigned as a machine gunner and begins his journey to the front lines, where he first encounters the vastness of the Russian landscape. He and his fellow soldiers march eastwards, initially optimistic and confident in their impending victory. However, this confidence quickly dissipates as Koshorek gets his first taste of battle. He describes the chaos of combat, the deafening sounds of artillery and gunfire, and the fear that grips him and his comrades. The battlefield is portrayed as a place of immense suffering and horror, with death a constant companion. He paints a vivid picture of the grueling conditions the soldiers faced, extreme weather, hunger, and the relentless pressure of advancing Soviet forces. Throughout his account, Koshorek details the daily life of a German soldier, the long marches, the brief moments of rest, the ongoing struggle against the elements, and the bond that forms between men facing death together. He speaks of the struggles to maintain morale and the coping mechanisms soldiers adopted to survive the psychological torment of relentless combat. As the war progresses, Koshorek's memoirs mirror the deteriorating situation of the German army. Initial victories give way to retreats and tactical withdrawals. The author recounts the impact of strategic blunders, poor logistics, and the increasing superiority of the Soviet forces, both in numbers and equipment. He describes being encircled, the experience of being under siege, and the desperate attempts to break out and rejoin the main German lines. There are moments of reflection in the memoirs where Koshorek considers the futility of the conflict and questions the ideology that propelled Germany into the war. He mentions witnessing war crimes and the mistreatment of Soviet prisoners and civilians, grappling with his role and the actions of his countrymen. The sense of disillusionment grows as the narrative unfolds and the initial patriotism is replaced by a desire for survival and a return to normal life. The camaraderie among soldiers is a central theme in Koshorek's reflections. He forms close friendships with his comrades, and these relationships provide a lifeline amidst the despair. The loss of fellow soldiers is recounted with a sense of deep personal tragedy, highlighting the intense bonds forged in battle. As the war turns inexorably against Germany, the memoirs depict a fighting retreat. Koshorek recounts the constant movement, engaging the enemy, and then pulling back under cover of darkness. He describes successful actions and tactical prowess that allowed his unit to survive when others did not, but he also writes of the hopelessness that pervaded their ranks. The memoirs capture the brutality on all fronts, including the hostile treatment of German soldiers by their officers, the summary executions for desertion or defeatism, and the pervasive presence of the Gestapo in ensuring discipline. These experiences further erode Koshorek's faith in the Nazi party and the German high command. Koshorek is wounded multiple times and describes his experiences with field medics and military hospitals. The stark contrast between the front lines and the relative safety of the medical facilities strikes him profoundly. Yet, even as he recovers from his injuries, the pull of duty and the bond with his surviving friends lead him back to the front. His final combat experience comes as the German army collapses entirely under the relentless Soviet offensive. Koshorek narrates harrowing encounters, narrow escapes, and the eventual devastating injury that leads to his capture by Soviet forces. His account gives insight into the treatment of German POWs marked by deprivation and mistreatment before he ultimately manages to escape. The memoir concludes with Koshorek's arduous journey back home through a Europe laid to waste by war. The narrative ends with his homecoming, a mix of relief and sorrow as a changed man, forever marked by the experiences he endured on the Eastern Front. 
Blood Red Snow is a powerful testament to the experiences of ordinary soldiers caught in the extraordinary circumstances of war. It transcends nationalities and ideologies, providing a personal human perspective on one of history's most devastating conflicts. Through Koshorek's eyes, readers are offered an unfiltered look at the cruelty of war, the resilience of the human spirit, and the enduring impact of comradeship in the face of unspeakable hardship. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.